I'd want to stop working on that game. They're ungrateful little brats. I wouldn't want to keep working. Is, 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 oh my god, dude. It, you are not a gamer. You are a piece of shit. That's not only going to hurt the developer, but hurt the gaming industry overall. Why are you being such a dick? Why are you being such a spoiled brat? Is, 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 oh my god, dude. There's nothing logical here. Well guys, we are in for a very big treat today because I have found probably the most compelling argument in favor of the Epic Game Store on YouTube. This is coming from a user by the name of Hippozoned. Yeah, that's a pretty creative name, I guess you could say. I have no clue what the hell it means. But yeah, according to his YouTube banner, he is going to make gaming great again. And just in case you were concerned, he is not affiliated with Donald Trump. Just putting that out there, okay? We don't want any misunderstandings because it's most most likely that a lot of you guys were thinking, yeah, this dude is definitely on the caliber to be working on Trump's campaign and in his administration. So, you know, this could be the Secretary of Gaming in the future. Who the hell knows? I mean, this guy is making gaming great again. But anyway, the title of the video we are taking a look at today is called Epic Games Does Not Deserve the Hate for the Metro Exodus Deal Rant. I'm really glad he put that little rant there at the end, just in case any of us were confused what this video was actually going to be like. It was so considerate of him to actually do that but just taking a quick look at that like to dislike ratio on the video ah it's not looking too good for you buddy I'd say that most people probably don't agree with you in this situation and Epic Games probably does deserve the hate for the Metro Exodus deal but who knows that could just be the popular opinion maybe your compelling argument will change my mind but honestly it's pretty bad when you can't even get 10% on your own video on your own channel so yeah this should be pretty interesting to say the least so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the the video. Now today, 100% transparency here, that did kind of startle me a little bit the first time I did watch this video. I absolutely love it when videos just have 10 seconds of silence at the beginning. I mean, it really just sets the mood perfectly. Now today I'm going to do something I normally don't do, and that's talk about gaming news. The reason why I'm talking about this particular news is in question is because I feel like if I don't and I don't address it and I don't bring some balance to the force so to speak it'll end up hurting the gaming industry and I will not and I cannot allow that. So Oh my god, I can't even imagine what a huge responsibility that is. The entire fate of the gaming industry lies in the hands of a man by the name of Hippo Zoned, because he's the hero that gaming deserves, but not the one it needs right now. So I'm going to talk about it. You go, girl. Now, this particular topic has people upset for no apparent reason other than they were told to be upset by a said YouTuber. That's right, there's absolutely nothing whatsoever to be upset over, you entitled crybabies, who just listen to your favorite YouTuber in order to form your own opinions. Actually thinking about that, he basically just insulted everyone's intelligence watching his video, basically saying that they're incapable of actually forming their own opinions without a YouTuber telling them what to think. I mean, that's always a great way to start off trying to convince people, insult their intelligence. Because, to be honest, when I look at the situation from my point of view as a PC gamer, it makes zero sense why anyone is upset at this move at all. Yeah, I don't think any PC gamer would have trouble figuring out why people don't like not being able to use their favorite launcher. If the title and thumbnail weren't enough to tell you what I'm talking about... Wow, you really think highly of your viewers' intelligence. I'm telling you what, just in case you guys didn't read the title, or maybe you just couldn't read it because then again, you are a bunch of dumbasses, or you didn't bother to look at the thumbnail, you bunch of halfwits, this is what the video is about. We're talking about how the Epic Game Store is actually wonderful and how I'm going to single-handedly save the entire gaming industry. I want to talk about, and I will be talking about, the fact that people are angry because the Metro Exodus developers have given exclusive selling rights to the Epic Game Store, and somehow this is an issue. Somehow this is a bad thing. I mean, I just cannot even put it into words. How dare you want to play your games on Steam, a very pro-consumer platform, instead of playing on the Tencent Chinese spyware Epic Games launcher that lacks basic online functionality? How dare you have a preference? Now, before I go any farther, I do want to say that if you have already purchased Metro Exodus, if you have prepaid for Metro Exodus through Steam, you will still get the game on launch through Steam. There's no issue there. If you bought it through Steam, you will still get it through Steam. However, going forward, if you would like to purchase or play this game, you must do it through the Epic Game Store. Oh my god, thank god you cleared that up. And this apparently has pissed a lot of people off. But why? 
Well, there is quite the list of reasons why, but I think the main points of contention tend to circle around the fact that Epic Games has no user reviews. The game was available on Steam until literally two weeks before release when Epic paid Deep Silver to make the game a timed exclusive to the Epic Game Store, a practice that most PC gamers despise. Or maybe it's the fact that the Epic Games launcher is a bare-bones joke of a launcher with literally no more than a dozen games, no achievements, no offline mode, automatically installing Fortnite, privacy issues, no regional pricing, and I could keep going on and on and on. But I think you get the point. The Epic Games launcher is trash. Now, I've watched a few YouTubers talk about this very topic who are upset about it. Well, I think it's pretty obvious to say you didn't watch my video where I laid these issues out painstakingly and also explained how this is bad for competition in the PC gaming market if timed exclusivity is how these companies plan on competing. But don't worry, I'm not pompous enough to genuinely think that everyone should have watched my video on this exact topic. But I will just say, maybe the quality of the videos you did watch were, let's just say, lacking. Who have very large fan bases, a lot of these guys are actually pretty big on YouTube and they've expressed their dislike like with the move and I can't really figure out why. All right, let me get this straight. So first you say you watched videos where they explained why they're upset, and then you go to say that you can't figure out why they're upset. Did you watch the videos or not? I mean, this video is off to a fantastic start. And I, I really just think that they're making it bigger than it has to be because drama sells, controversy sells, and that's what people like to see. Well, in their defense, ad revenue is absolute dog shit right now, so make sure to support me on Patreon if you like my videos. No, I'm just fucking kidding. I'm not going to e-bag for money to make YouTube videos. Come on. Or they personally don't like the move. It kind of upset them a little, so they made a video about it, and now they have their fan base, which happens to be a big portion of the gaming community, mad about it. So they made a video talking about it and explaining their issue with the decision, but yet here you are doing the exact same thing, only you're in favor of the decision. Well, don't we have quite the hypocritical little hippo here. Now, I'm mad about the fact that this is becoming bigger than it ought to be, and it's going to start hurting the game industry overall. How exactly is this bad for the gaming industry, and how is it hurting it? Being vocal about issues is crucial if we ever want to see the games industry improve. It's the only way things ever get done. Being silent accomplishes nothing. But you know what? Before I talk about how it's hurting the gaming industry and some of the things that some of these dumbasses have said, it's always a great way to convince people that you're right by calling them dumbasses before you even make your argument if they dare to disagree with you. I mean, this dude must have been on the debate team or some shit like that because his tactics are on a completely different level. I want to talk about how PC has worked up until now. Grab your popcorn, kids, because we're in store for a full documentary on the birth of PC gaming and the triumphs of the glorious PC Master Race. So if you were a developer and you wanted to develop a game for PC, up until recently, you had to go through Steam. You had to sell your game through Steam unless you were a large publisher. You have no clue what the hell you're talking about. Remember these? You had the ancient technology called DVDs. These used to be the way that everyone got their games on PC. You would walk into a store, buy the disc, install them on your computer. No Steam required. I mean, come on. I think almost everyone knows that at this point. Such as EA or Ubisoft and you had Origin or Uplay. Both Origin and Uplay allow third parties to release their games on their launchers. Also, launchers like Discord and GOG are already existing alternatives to Steam as well. You have no clue what the hell you're talking about. Other than that, if you did want to release your game on the PC platform, there was no other option but to go through Steam. In enters the Epic Game Store, who has now given developers another option and another platform to publish and sell their games on. Yeah, like I established earlier, they're a little late to the party. Developers have had other options than Steam for a very long time now. And you know what? You would think this is a good thing, and it was at first, and a lot of these YouTubers who are now disliking the move originally liked the move and said it was a good thing and is competition for Steam. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's because the store launched and we saw what a complete joke of a launcher it is compared to Steam, Origin, GOG, and even the fucking Discord store. It lacks staple features of online gaming in 2019. What's sad is the Windows Store of all places has a better feature set than the Epic Game Store. It's amazing that you think it's a negative thing for people to change their minds and admit they're wrong on something when presented with new valuable information. But now they have changed in their stance and now they're upset that Metro Exodus is being sold through the Epic Game Store rather than through Steam. For what? Why is this an issue? It's not like how it has been in the console market where Sony and Microsoft each have their own contracts to their own exclusives and if you want to play one of their exclusive games, you have to buy their console which costs anywhere from 200 to 400 bucks. 
not so fast here. The difference here is that the game was set to release on Steam literally two weeks before Epic paid for timed exclusivity rights and had the game pulled off of Steam. It would be completely different if this was a first party Epic title, but it's not. Timed exclusivity is complete and utter bullshit no matter how you look at it on PC or console and benefits no one except whatever platform is paying to restrict that third party content. On PC here, all you have to do is just download another client. Some would argue, well, there's too many clients. Yep, there is. I have over 200 games spread out across multiple clients and while it's a little annoying this has been happening more and more and now everyone has their own goddamn client for their video game oh my god this is too fucking rich so you admit there are too many clients and that it's annoying but then call people dumbasses for not wanting to support even more clients restricting third-party content really man your reasoning here is fucking impeccable my point is the only valid argument i see here is the fact that yes moving it from steam after it was already on steam to the epic game store is a little annoying but again if you have already bought it through steam you're not affected in any way so i don't see the issue there if you haven't bought it yet you just have to download the epic game store or, you know, the Chinese government being sold your user data by Tencent or another security breach resulting in payment information being stolen from customers for what, the third or fourth time now? Which, if we're being honest with ourselves, most of us probably already have installed. Puh. Because at some point, all of us has at least downloaded and tried Fortnite to see what the craze or the hype was all about. So, whether you uninstalled the Epic Games launcher or not, at, at some point, you did download this thing on your PC. I'm sure of it. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. And if you have it, well, kudos to you. But my point is, nothing changes. You don't have to pay any more than you already were going to pay for the video game. You don't have to wait any longer to get the video game. All you have to do is buy it and you will have it upon release. So again, while I see a little of annoyance here, I don't really see an issue and it's not like you have to go out of your way to go and find the game. Well, I have to download a new launcher, create an account, enter my payment method into a new launcher. That sounds like quite a bit of going out of my way, in my opinion. And it's not like they're pulling it from the platform, which they could do altogether. And after some of the things that I've heard people say that they're going to do with this game, I'd actually prefer that they do that. I'd actually prefer that they do that. Did you actually just say that you'd prefer that they remove the game from the PC altogether? I thought you were the white knight riding into town to save the gaming industry. What the hell happened? I also thought you were a fellow PC gamer. What PC gamer in their right mind would actually advocate having a game removed off their platform of choice? Dude, you're just a new level of pathetic. I have no other way to put it. I mean, this is an absolute joke of a video. You actually just advocated having a game stripped from the platform entirely. Like, that benefits anyone. Great job on this video. Yo, man, honestly, this is so well put together. Now, I've heard some people argue that Epic Games can't compete with Steam because it doesn't have all the features that Steam has. And yes, this is true. Epic Games doesn't have all the features that Steam has. However, how they can compete is financially, and that's how they've been using their money to compete. The reason why they're buying these games and having them exclusively sold on their platform is to try to get users to use their platform so it can become what they want it to become. Right now, the Epic Games Store is the baby and Steam is the giant, and the Epic Game Store wants to grow to become the giant to compete with Steam, but they can't feature-wise yet. I'm sure they're going to work on this, because if they really want to succeed at this and make this something, they're going to have to do more than just buy exclusive contracts. So why don't they just take the money that they're wasting on timed exclusivity and invest it into the platform? Again, you said they have to compete financially, but they could just as easily hire software engineers to improve the platform versus locking down timed exclusivity on a game that's going to bomb on their platform as a result of the following controversy. But that's something for another video. My point is... They're throwing their money around to do something to compete so they can take the time to invest into this platform and make it bigger than what it is. Because if they really didn't care about the platform, they wouldn't be going out of their way and spending money to get developers to come to their platform. So they care about the platform, and as a result, they push it out before it has key features and refuse to spend money on improving the platform in favor of spending money on timed exclusivity that benefits no one. Let's just cut the bullshit and call it like it is. This is a company that has a fat-ass bank account from the success of Fortnite, and they are desperately trying to secure alternative revenue streams by shoehorning their way into the gaming industry on PC while the game is still relevant. They also wouldn't be giving the developers a more favorable revenue split than Steam. Now, there are people out there 
who will argue that features such as the achievements or the cloud saves and whatnot are the reason why this is a bad move because Epic doesn't have these. Well, I'm not really going to speak for everyone here, but 90% of the features that Steam has, I don't really use while gaming or I don't use at all. Now, I know a lot of people are into that virtual trading crap and all of that. I'm not. I don't care about it. As for the Steam overlay, I only really use the chat and whatnot when I really need to reach someone that I don't have on another platform or I need to talk to them about something specific. Well, good for fucking you, man. I'm glad that you think everyone should adopt what you deem to be important. As for the achievements, while I'm playing, while it's cool to see them pop up and cool to get them, I don't really care and I don't go out of my way to get them or research how to get them. Now, while some people do, I personally don't care about them. And if you pick up a game or purchase a game because you want to get the Steam achievements rather than play the game, you really need to evaluate why you purchased that game or why you're even playing that game at all. Like, who the hell does this guy think he is? Who are you to tell people why they shouldn't be playing a game? If they enjoy achievement hunting, why should they not buy and enjoy the game just like everybody else? You are such a fucking pompous little shit. I also don't use the Steam reviews as a way to get my final verdict on whether or not I should buy the game or not, because we're all well aware of how review bombing happens and how negative and how stupid it can be and why it can happen over the silliest reason. On the topic of review bombing, I'll just say this. Good games generally don't get review bombed on Steam. It takes a certain action by developers or publishers to warrant a widespread review bomb. Like I said, this doesn't happen to good games. Developers have to screw something up. And guess what? It doesn't hurt the gaming industry that consumers can actually voice their disapproval on a product they are expected to spend money on. So the review system isn't my final resource when it comes to buying a game. I also don't care about the cloud saves. While yes, it's nice to have a backup on Steam servers just in case I get my internal save on my computer corrupted or something like that, it's not necessarily a factor needed. And again, while it's nice, it's not a deal breaker, especially because you have to really do something really messed up to get an internal save to corrupt on your computer. Wait a second, is this a video on why you don't care about certain Steam features, or is it about why the Epic Game Store and you are going to save the gaming industry? I'm a little confused here. And one final thing before I move on is everyone's touting these features as why Steam is better than Epic. But let's remind ourselves that when Steam first came out, not a lot of people liked using it or wanted to use it. In fact, most gamers hated it. Steam didn't get cloud support until 2008. They didn't have the ability to family share your account until 2013, and they didn't allow reviews on games until late 2013, and so on and so forth. Steam wasn't the platform it is today overnight. It didn't release the way it is today. All of these features weren't here at launch. Oh my god, I would have never guessed. What are you going to tell me next, that Rome wasn't built in one day either? They were the first to do all of those things you just named, and they set the example for the entire industry. They didn't have an example to follow. They had to figure it out all by themselves. Of course it's going to take time. They had no example to follow whatsoever. The Epic Game Store, on the other hand, has several examples to follow. Epic has a really unique opportunity here. They have an opportunity to build these very features, see how Steam did it, and try to do it better. I'm sure Epic will turn their store into something that is very competitive or even comparable to Steam eventually. Just not yet. It hasn't happened yet because they just started in this venture. So maybe you could understand why people aren't exactly anxious to move over to a far inferior platform as a result of a last minute timed exclusivity deal. Could they have maybe developed the store a little bit more before releasing it? Yeah, but they felt like the time was right now and so they made a decision to go for it. Yes, because they want to milk money off the success of Fortnite while it's still relevant. It all has to do with money, nothing else. Now, Epic has said that they're not going to allow certain things like reviews on their platform, and this has pissed a lot of people off. And this was the first negative that I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about, which was just stupid in my opinion, because again, review bombing is negative for the gaming industry and games. And I know if I was a damn developer and I saw some baby whining because I made a change to my game that they didn't like and review bombing the hell out of my game, I'd want to stop working on that game. They're ungrateful little brats. I wouldn't want to keep working. Oh my god, this is some games journalism level of shilling going on over here. Taking away the voice of customers is the wet dream for companies like EA, Activision, Bethesda that make a habit out of screwing their customers over, and you're going to defend that shit and say it's good for gaming. Dude, you are on the wrong side if you quote-unquote are trying to save the gaming industry. No wonder this video got so many fucking dislikes, calling people ungrateful little brats for voicing their complaints over something they are expected to pay for and spent money on in the case of Steam 
Steam reviews because you have to buy the game in order to review a game on Steam. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Saying that taking away their voice is good for the gaming industry is a new fucking low, man. But most developers don't have the luxury of pulling the plug on a project when they get shit on because people are whining like little bitches. The whole point of the rant about Steam was is that Steam didn't end up being the platform it is today. It got there through hard work, through constant updates, through constant time and money being invested into the platform. Yeah, not timed exclusivity though. And Epic will get there. And if Epic didn't care about their platform, they wouldn't be spending so much money right now to get people to want to publish on their platform. Another reason why I think some people are angry is because because somehow they're saying that this is screwing over Steam because Steam was going to sell the game and then a developer chose to pull out at the last minute. First of all, first of all, two things here. First, the developer can sell their game wherever the hell they please. It's the developer's game, not Valve's or Steam's. That's why Steam had to let them pull the game. Apparently, Steam didn't make a contract that once you put your game on my platform, you can't pull it. And why would they? They didn't have competition up until now. Secondly, Steam sells hundreds of games a year, and this won't be the only big game on the Steam platform this year. So, in all honesty, in no way will this affect Steam at all. This is not in any way hurting Steam's financial income or, or financial profits or whatever the hell you want to call it. Don't take this as an insult to your intelligence, even though you've been insulting people's intelligence this entire video who dare to disagree with you, but do you have any basic understanding of math? Because a game not being sold on Steam is a missed opportunity to increase revenue and therefore increase profitability. I mean, that's basic addition, man. No business degree required. Take that from someone who is actually majoring in finance right now in college. This is in no way going to actually affect Steam long-term financially. This is not going to hurt Steam. So anyone angry or saying that Steam is screwed over because of this, that's irrational and illogical. And why do you care about a multi-billion dollar company? Because if you're like me, then you can barely afford the game. Well, I guess we're not alike after all. Now, some people have argued that it's screwing over Steam because they did the marketing. Now, I'm sure the developer paid for this marketing because if Steam gave out free marketing to every game coming on its platform, they would never actually have time to do anything else. They just put it on the front page of the store. That's like the best advertising you can get on Steam. How exactly would that take up Steam's time? I mean, that's pretty fucking easy. Putting a link to the game's page on the front of the store probably takes like three seconds. It would be basically impossible. So I'm sure part of the agreement upon selling the game on Steam was that they would promote the game in any which way possible. I thought you just said there was no way that would happen. But again, any sales that they made from this marketing or advertisement, such as pre-orders and whatnot, they get to keep the money from because they sold the game. So, I really don't see the argument here, again. I think most people are feeling the same way about your video at this point. But moving on before I wrap up this video, I do want to talk about some of the comments I have seen on other YouTubers' videos who have talked about this that has really pissed me off and that, again, make no sense. The first one I want to talk about is people saying they're going to boycott Metro Exodus because of this move. Again, can you explain your reasoning behind this? Why? Why are you being such a dick? Why are you being such a spoiled brat? Yes, how dare you not hand over your money, you entitled brats? and being mad about something that doesn't change the way the game performs, the game plays, or what the game is. It's not changing the game at all. In fact, it may even benefit the game in the long term, because now the developers will make more money off of it if you decide to buy it and stop being a spoiled little entitled brat and boycott Epic Game Store for no reason. I mean, you're absolutely right. There's no reason why someone might prefer Steam over the Epic Game Store. And guess what? If you choose to practice your free will and not spend your money on a game, you're just an entitled brat. There's nothing logical here. There's nothing logical here. Honestly, that sums up your video quite well. It's almost tempting to end the video right here. There's no logical reason why people are hating this move. The game isn't changing in any way. The game isn't more expensive. You don't have to pay money for the Epic Game Launcher. I, I absolutely just don't get it. And I'm like, why? Because someone told you it's a dumb move, you agree, and now you're angry? Learn to form your own opinions! Fuck sakes! But at the same time, you expect people to agree with your opinion. The hypocritical hippo is at it once again. I know personally that I never demanded people agree with me. In fact, I laid out my argument and then asked people at the end of my video to share their opinion on the Epic Game Store if it was something that interested them or if they weren't fans of it. I didn't call people dumbasses, entitled brats, or dicks because I didn't agree with them. But then again, that could be the reason why my video is sitting at well over 10,000 likes and yours barely has over 10. 
But the last thing I want to talk about before I wrap up this video is people said that they're going to torrent this game because of this move. That is the dumbest and the most fucking idiotic and asinine thing that I've ever heard in my life to something that doesn't even warrant this kind of anger. If you go ahead and torrent this damn game, you are not a gamer. You are a piece of shit that's not only going to hurt the developer, but hurt the gaming industry overall. Oh god, it actually came to this. I mean, come on, man. I don't want to have to say it because it's very fucking cliche, but it's just a meme, bro. Chill the fuck out. I mean, it's been proven time and time again that piracy on PC has little to no impact whatsoever on the gaming industry as a whole because most people who pirate games have no intention on buying them in the first place, so no one's actually losing money there. And plus, most people who say they're going to pirate the game are not actually going to pirate it. It is a fucking meme, bro. Chill out. We don't know what the Epic Game Store can become. We don't know how big or how small the damn thing may end up being. Honestly, I'd rather not find out if timed exclusivity is their idea of competition. But by people saying that they're going to find ways to buy the game or play the game without going through the Epic Game Store for no fucking reason is, 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 oh my god, dude, it is, 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 is oh my god dude it, just thinking about that enrages the hell out of me because it makes zero sense there is no reason to hate the epic game store it will eventually become a good platform it oh my god not only is this guy delivering such a compelling argument but he can also see into the future man hook me up with those lotto numbers please i will do anything it may be the basic bare bones platform right now but again steam was this very fucking thing until it decided to keep implementing features that people have asked for over time and over the years steam has been out for over 16 years now and it didn't start out the way it is now just in case you forgot it's not 2003 anymore it is 2019 there is no excuse to have so many missing features in 20 fucking 19 and all of these features that are missing are industry standards at this point across console and pc gaming at this point there is no excuse when epic has so many different examples to follow but it is a hell of a good platform that i'll admit the epic games could become this given 16 years to evolve and expand Jesus Christ, man, you want us to wait 16 years before we pass judgment on the Epic Game Store and comparing it to Steam feature-wise? I am not waiting that long. But with people finding reasons to hate it for no other reason than to hate it is absolutely stupid and asinine. Give the damn thing a chance. Let it grow. Stop sabotaging something before you know what it could become. The Epic Game Store could potentially be the best thing to happen to gaming. It could end up giving us better sales than Steam. You don't know what this could become. And by trying to sabotage it because a YouTuber told you to sabotage it because they don't particularly like it is just fucking dumb. And people need to stop doing this shit. People are overreacting to something that doesn't even need a reaction. The damn game was moved. Who cares? You like the game. The game looks good. Go fucking buy it. Stop being stupid. Stop listening to YouTubers and forming your opinion based off what they say. So the takeaway here is that we should just completely disregard everything you've said in your YouTube video as well. I mean, you've got to love the hypocrisy here. I mean, he's basically telling people not to listen to YouTubers on YouTube and to form their own opinions, but at the same time, he's trying to tell people that they should think the way he thinks, and if you don't, you're a dumbass. You're an entitled brat. I mean, you have got to love the hypocrisy here. It is completely off the charts, and it's no wonder you got so many dislikes on this video. Because if that's all you need, it was someone with enough fucking subscribers to base your opinion, then subscribe to me and have all your friends subscribe to me, and then listen to this video. Begging for subscribers with a hint of jealousy. A great combination, if I do say so myself. It always works out great. Anyways, rant over. I'm done. I want to know what everyone thinks about this video. Are you mad at this change? And if you are, let me know exactly why in the comments below. Because quite frankly, I don't get it. If you agree with me here and it's irrational, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching this video and all of my videos. And I'll see you next time. Hippo out. And just like that, the video is over. I don't think we're ever going to find a more compelling argument in favor of the Epic Game Store. This turned out to be a pretty long one, so thank you guys so much if you did, in fact, make it to the end. I greatly appreciate it. Our little hippo buddy over there really had no clue what the hell he was talking about. And honestly, this was too good to pass up responding to. You guys know how much I love being called an entitled brat. A fucking brat. But with that said, guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video as always, and for all the recent support as well. This channel has been doing insanely well, so thank you so much for that, and I will catch you guys next time.